How you doing everybody? It's Randy Richard uh, in the shop again. So I'm going to be starting a new project. I'm going to build some tool holders uh, for my lathe. I only have four, uh, five I should say. Uh, and I'm going to build probably eight more. Got a piece of stock here. This is a inch and a half by one, 1018. So I'm going to squared up this one end already and I'm going to do some scribes. I'm going to do probably two at a time. I might, I'm thinking about cutting them in lengths. So there's two blocks, so I'll have four pieces. And then I'm going to put them all in the mill once and, and, and hog out the, uh, uh, wedge portion before I do the dovetail cutting and do them all at once. So I'm toying with that idea or I'll just put in one at a time but uh, I'm thinking all at once and uh, I'll turn my vise uh, in line with the table so I can use the uh, power feed and sit there and watch it I think. So that's kind of the plan. We've got a kind of a drawing. Yeah, it's really pretty detailed uh, so far. And then I'll drill all the holes at once and all that. Uh, try to do it in in a batch uh, kind of setup. So let's uh, change camera a little bit and. Uh, I'm just going to make some scribe lines. So, my tool holders, uh, uh, an AXA, AXA size tool holder. So they're three inches long, and I'm going to stick with that. It works just fine. I can put in actually two tools if I want. Uh, so that's where we're going to go. Anyway, so. I'm going to describe the first mark here at three, six and an eighth, plus a sixteenth, though, so three six six and three sixteenths. There we go. Now will be that'll be a cut line, right? And then it's the same, same all the way down. Oops. That will give me an eighth of an inch for the cut uh, between each one. So that I can uh, square them up. I'm just going to cut them on a bandsaw. go so we got four cuts to make then uh, we'll reset up the vise in the mill and I think I'm going to stack them in the vise all together uh, actually what I probably do is uh, square one end at least square one end of each piece before I stack them up now oh, I got something something to align with that's what I'll probably do Okay, let's uh, get them cut. Over at the mill, 
We're going to square up the ends here, that's all. I'm not going to take a lot off. Right now they're right there at about six and an eighth. So I only have an eighth of an inch between a cut and cleaning up. So it'll just be just enough. This last one I'm going to leave long, it's two pieces plus uh, about two inches, just in case I might want to decide to make a longer holder for some reason, I'm going to look at a few things.